If every Christian would know what it means to be a son and a daughter, they would change every field, every sphere of influence that they're in. We're in this training center you can see behind me. It's a training center, but I like to say it's a breeding ground. I really do. We're gonna multiply. It says that each seed multiplies after its own kind. I was, you know, an addict for such a long time. It was all about me, myself, and I. It was about selfishness. It was about manipulation, maneuvering. I lived by my feelings. I was so full of self-seeking, and I was full of envy because I envied what other people had because I didn't, I didn't know who I was. I, I had no identity. And so when I got born again, God became my father, and I became his son. I believe that redemption means that you were brought back to the original place that you were in the beginning, which means we've been brought back to the garden as if we've never eaten the tree. And so when my life got transformed by God, I immediately dove into this word of righteousness. I went into my secret place and I would open my Bible and the Bible says, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and everything will be added to you. When Jesus came and he offered his pure and spotless blood, his holy blood on Calvary, it says that the covenant that God would make with us is that our sins and our lawless deeds God would remember no more. The blood of Jesus firmly dealt with our past. He firmly dealt with who we were before Christ and even after Christ comes in, grace empowers us to walk out what truth calls us to. God wants to restore what sin defiled. So the focus is identity in sonship, because if you see that you've been adopted, it's so powerful. This training center is gonna be used to equip people where we can focus and concentrate on that. What would it be like for you to wake up without guilt, without shame, without condemnation, without regret? I've woken up that way for 13 years, and I wanna be able to impart that to every student that would be a part of this. I wanna give you the opportunity to come and be a part of Lifestyle Christianity University. You're gonna have hands on to where you don't just hear it, but you do it, to where you can actually become the hands and feet of Jesus.